now let's segue over to our second presenter. We're going to talk about raising over $6 million with one multi-channel campaign. And the Wonder One Group's been doing a fabulous job down in Florida. So we're going to welcome David Olson. He's got 21 years of direct marketing and fundraising experience for nonprofit organizations. Initiated, initiated an alumni e-newsletter in 1993 that has grown to more than 20,000 subscribers to date. It's awesome. And known locally for his exotic home brews and custom-built rat rod bicycles. And we consider him uh, clearly one of the most interesting marketing men in the world, uh, as a little graphic illustrates there. So, And we, I had to Google rat rod bicycles because I didn't know if that was a typo or, or David. That actually was a bicycle, and I learned something new today. So welcome, and what would you like to add to that bio? Well, next time you're in Florida, Joe, I'll give you a ride on my custom extended chopper with a, uh, it's got an extra seat in the back, kind of, you know, I won't <laughs> say it online, but it's, it starts with the word B and ends, yeah. with, the word, it ends with H. <laughs> Definitely must do that, guys, and we must, we I, must get a picture of that. we got a picture of that for sure. That would be a good one. Well, welcome, David, and uh, it, it's really an honor to have you on board. So I'm going to just turn it over to you and, and let you do your magic. Sure, thanks. Uh, it's great to be a part of this, and thank you for the invite. So our client is uh, the NC State Student Aid Association. Uh, many Division I colleges have uh, an organization like this. It's uh, basically the organization that supports athletics and athletic funding for student scholarships, you know, especially at the Division I level. And so each year, the Wolfpack Club is faced with uh, the same the same issue of renewing memberships. You know, and uh, for an organization that has to raise uh, close to about twenty million dollars a year to provide the funding necessary to support all the student athletes that are playing, uh, you can see that uh, they do that by a wide range of membership levels. You know, so they. They start down in the hundred, uh, $120 range and go up to uh, 30000 And uh, those different uh, membership levels are, you know, primarily what, were, what was able to help us get to that, uh, that overall goal number of uh, $6 million, which sounds a little outrageous. So, so uh, for, for us, our goal was to uh, talk to a target audience. And you can see by these faces, uh, these uh, are, like all schools, they have uh, a fanatic uh, uh, fan base of alumni, and friends, and, uh, and family members that want to support student athletics at, at various levels. Um, so that's, that's who our target audience was. And out of the 13,000, uh, they were all members. So we were talking about a membership renewal campaign and incorporating some elements that uh, they had, that the client had not done um, uh, ever in, in, their, in their history. So, so we had an initial creative meeting back in October, and the campaign was to launch in, uh, in January. And uh, we sat around the table, and um, uh, my client presented me with a, a sketch uh, and, and a couple of, you know, literally a pencil sketch on a notepad of uh, her, her creative idea of what this campaign might might look like as far as the creative elements. And it, it was really a pretty good idea because a, if, you, if you're not familiar with college and athletics, uh, signing days are big at the high school level. And everyone, you know, all the seniors that are graduating from high school, all the big studs that are, whether they're playing football, baseball, uh, basketball, there's a signing day for that sport, and uh, they wanted to incorporate that signing day theme into the membership renewal campaign. So we built on that with um, with the theme, uh, you know, your membership matters, and today's your signing day, basically. So I think on the next slide, we can see a little bit of our, our campaign workflow here. Um, our thought was to uh, go out with an initial soft uh, soft ask in email number one um, so that we could tell them a little bit about uh, how membership renewal was going to work this year and uh, what were some of the elements about it. So there was a little video that we popped in, you know, on a landing page, drew that uh, thumbnail in the email, and wrote a little letter from the executive director. And uh, believe it or not, this soft ask, uh, you know, brought quite a bit of renewals in before we even hit the street with our direct mail piece. The direct mail piece uh, was, uh, you know, 
uh, something that we uh, do every, you know, year after year. It uh, pr pretty much is uh, the primary vehicle uh, for getting checks, credit cards, commitments back in the hands of the client. And uh, what we were able to do by, the, by doing the initial email blast out was reduce the amount of direct mail just by, by putting the email on the streets first and giving some time for that to sit and then launching the direct mail campaign. I think we reduced our, our mail file uh, from 13,000 somewhere to around 10,500 when it came time to uh, send the first direct mail piece out. And then we followed up with a series of other emails as well along the way. Yeah, so email one uh, soft launch took us from uh, a 13,000 initial mail file and helped us reduce the mail file list to 10,000. Then we hit the street with the direct mail piece. You can see that uh, in this we had uh, multiple personalized variables, particularly things like uh, consecutive years of membership, lifetime giving amounts. Um, in there somewhere is a personalized URL it, uh, to, to renew online. Uh, that's in the PS. And then on the back is a lot of static information and legalistic type stuff that they have to put about the, uh, the membership and the benefits that you receive with your payment and all that stuff. And so this is uh, email two, and this is what really drove traffic into the microsite. This was the first email that really pushed heavily the, the, all of the web traffic um, that, that uh, was converted into cash payments. And that opening paragraph up top uh, was, was a variable graph that spoke personally to each household. But it also, the, the small text underneath the black text uh, was versioned out at six different levels. So there were six, six major segments of this audience, and for each one, they got a dip, different snippet of text in there. Below that is the, the, the center graphic, um, which uh, you know, shows the signature sign here, uh, personalized graphic for every single individual that got this. Uh, so their years of membership was live data, their lifetime giving was live data, their address, their name, that was all live. And, and, uh, and we, we created these, uh, these PNG files as assets uh, before the campaign even started. And then we just we pointed to them uh, using a variable in the uh, HTML. So, so that was email two, and it drove traffic into this microsite. And we had a little gateway uh, on the left. There's a little gateway uh, to confirm who you are. You know, you come in on that uh, click URL and just prompted you for your, your email address. You hit continue. Now on the right-hand side, you're looking at the primary landing page. Again, uh, keeping the same look and feel, some of the same elements. A lot of that language there is, is basically similar to what was in the email. But the video message and the personalization from the executive director, Bobby Purcell, really hit home. It, you know, it's a kind of a family-oriented message that says, you know, the Wolfpack Club is a family. You're part of this family, and your membership matters. You know, show us your level of championship commitment by renewing today. So, so once you get off the landing page, you were then taken to uh, kind of a, you know, this is a decision page right here, page number two. Uh, we wanted to give them information up top, the renewal options. This is important information because those bullets, one, two, and three, the dollar amounts that are blown in there are actually variables for each recipient, and it's based on their past level, their previous year's level of membership. So you can see bullet number three, renew at the teammate club for $120. So both the, 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 the name, teammate club, and the dollar amount are variables. Uh, and even items two and one are both variables that were calculated ahead of time. And then we asked them to choose their method of payment, pay in full by credit card, pay partial payment, pledge now, pay later, or call me to set up a bank draft. From there, they were taken over to the, uh, this is what we call the submit page. So uh, based on what they chose, whether it was pay in full, pay partial, or pledge now, pay later, uh, drove what they saw next. So this page here is built out to do a, uh, uh, actually, no, this, this page here actually gets their commitment. Because uh, up top, near the step two of two, those bullets, they had to select one of those. Uh, they had to select the dollar amount that they wanted to renew at. Did they want to renew at the same amount? Did they want to give 10% more? Or did they want to go and uh, 
increase to the next level uh, above their previous year's membership. So they put their credit card in, hit submit, and boom, they're done. Their process is, um, it acknowledges them. Uh, thank you for signing with the Wolfpack Club. And what uh, what we did here is uh, we wanted to celebrate and try to promote uh, the membership campaign using some uh, social media. So we incorporated a couple of custom strips of Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And we were able to, you know, using the content variables, we were to drive personalization right into some of these posts, you know, like for instance here, you know, breaking breaking news, five-star recruit, you know, your name, last, you know, first name, last name, David Olson signs with the NC State Wolfpack, you know. Um, here uh, at the bottom part, you know, this is my colleague, Heather Darling, breaking news, five-star recruit, Heather Darling signs with the Wolfpack Club. What, what these did is it just uh, it, it put uh, the campaign out there on, on some various aspects of social media, but it also was driving traffic back to our microsite. And any inbound traffic that came through these elements, they were coming in as treated as, uh, as guest traffic, but they were still able to uh, renew their membership and check out online. So it was pretty effective. I think we, even though we got a small take on that side of the guest traffic, is it still was worth the time and effort to create that. And again, all this looks cool, but uh, show me the money is, is the real uh, the real question. And so, you know, at, at the end of it all, um, with uh, a number of different emails, the microsite, online, online renewals, and then the direct mail response, we were able to capture um, over six million dollars. Uh, we raised two, uh, we had two, over 2,000 transactions alone on the microsite, and uh, the microsite alone was able to transact 1.6 million of that uh, six million dollars. Uh, the rest came in through either by phone or direct mail. So uh, something to think about here is uh, that that top section uh, renewal options. We one of our, our our initial goals was to see if we could move people into the next level. You know, so we bumped them up from from a lower level to a higher level. And as you can see, if you look at online versus mail, the mail-in responses, we got a 8%, we converted 8% to an upper level online versus 5% uh, through the mail. Total conversions uh, were 7%. Uh, and then getting someone to just increase a little bit, just to give 10% extra than their previous year. You know, 26% compared to 21%. And I think the microsite, um, honestly, I think if you could see the video from Bobby Purcell, it was a short 50-second um, video or so, but it really hit home. The music, the words, the emotion. You know, if you're an NC State grad, you know, you just want to cry and make your gift right now. It was that good. And then below, um, you know, we wanted to track, you know, progress through this. So you can see... We had uh, 13 uh, early, 1382, almost 1400 early conversions um, uh, before the campaign even officially launched. And by the end of January, we had 17% uh, renewed. End of February, uh, running total at the end of February was about uh, 50 something percent, and then overall uh, by the end of March. And this uh, this campaign officially closed out on. On March 15th was the day we sent our last uh, email out, but uh, at the end of March, when they closed the books on the membership renewal campaign, they were at 77 77% renewed versus uh, I think 69 and a half percent last year. And here, what you're looking at is a, a, a dashboard view of some of the some of the raw statistics. This this particular campaign is one of our more recent campaigns with the young alumni. Uh, it's still part of the NC State Wolfpack Club and still part of membership, but uh, talking to um, the young alumni audience as far as uh, uh, total engagement, a couple of emails that were sent out, and uh, you can see, uh, you know, things like bounce backs, uh, marked as spam, all that stuff, open rates, you know, 47% open rate on, on one of those emails up uh, on total. You know, this is all good stuff. We can set our clients up. They love seeing this stuff. It's, it's a, you know, one click. My client can see all this in, in real time as it unfolds. It's a valuable tool for them. 
Excellent. Great job, dude. That's, that's really, really, really great presentation, great successful program. Thanks for sharing it.